good weekend at Father's Day. Three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your to win $20,000 tonight in the 42nd annual USA 100. Jamaica, Virginia, they're coming at you for one! They will begin in the form in their double foul.
stand up and be recognized before we come to green. Happy Father's Day to all of you. Tommy, it's time for the USA 100. Let's get it started for the 42nd running. Irwin and Millwood side by side. Green flag in the air. Irwin will lead them into one. Millwood's gonna jump up way top side. It's gonna be a drag race off of two. Millwood with the bleed as we come off of two down the back straight. Irwin in the second spot. Then it's Dale Hollage and Zach Mitchell will dive it down to the inside for the battle for the third spot. First lap will go in the boots. Give it to Millwood. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a race. The 42nd running of the USA 100. Presented by HoosierDriver.org. It's Green at Virginia Motor Speedway. And there is great racing all over the place in the opening go laps. Mitchell from his third place position slid a little high in one and two. That allowed Hollage and caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Problems in turn number one, Tommy. Car 26, I believe it is. 2T, 2T. 2T, okay. They'll be Five. behind one another. All righty. As we go through three, it'll be Millwood's race to start. Once he gasses it up, you'll see the green flag unfurl. Millwood on the gas. They go three wide down the front straight away. McDowell, he checks up. Let's the other two live. Mitchell on the outside. He'll rock it back to second spot. Everybody else is going to make it through two and three. They're three wide down the middle of the back stretch. Ross Bell's diving to the inside. That's for about the 10th or 11th oh, position. Benji. Got one up against the wall. Ross, excuse me, Benji Hicks up against the outside. Benji Hicks up in the wall of the Longhorn. Damages the back end of the rear spool on the right side. And then like a drafted Daytona or Talladega in the top five. Now almost to spot 25 on the back straightaway. It's Millwood leading off turn four. With about a 10 car length advantage over Zach Mitchell. Two winners already on this Ultimate Tour this year. Then it's Irwin and McDowell side by side. Good three wide battle down the front straightaway. And we're back around to four, and Millwood will lead him off of four as flat four will go in the books. My goodness, Tommy, I wish that my buddy Ken Bartlett had multiple camera angles to keep up with all the action around here, because you've got three wide racing in the back of the pack, the middle of the pack, the front of the pack. Millwood setting sail, but it's a hornet's nest in the USA 100 on lap four. Three wide again back there mid-pack between Walker, Arthur, Justin Williams, and Michael Page. Page with a very fast race car. Two wins on the ultimate season already. And he struggled up here at Virginia Motor a little bit tonight, although he did great in his heat race. B main, excuse me. Exactly right. Working lap five now with 60. It is Tyler Millwood out in front. This would be the biggest win of his career. Let's go. Problem. Trouble. Benji Hicks, the Longhorn in turn two off the pace. To the outside and a turn two. Caution lights will be illuminated around the speedway again. For the second time, Tommy Tenner, we go under yellow flag. Two decades of speed. Tommy, we're ready to come to green out of four. And Millwood will gas it up. We're back green flag racing on lap number six here at the USA 100. Millwood using the top side. Zach Mitchell also using top side. And he'll rock it back to the second spot. McDowell, he's on the top side, but he's got Brandon Overton in the four car right on his rear deck. Russell Irwin sandwiched in there in the third position, the 22 car. Watch the four of Overton. The guy knows the right way to get around here for sure. He and Davenport put on a show just a couple months back. Sure did, in the King of the Commonwealth, we saw that. As they exit off of turn four, Millwood still leads. Mitchell second, Russell Irwin third. Russell Irwin, this could be the biggest win of his career. Look at this, three and four wide across the stripe. Holy smokes, Tommy Tanner, don't put your hands between those cars. If you're watching out front, you're missing the race. Ken Bartley won, watch this middle here. Holy cow, they are side by side, beating and banging like crazy. But back out front, we gotta call the leader, of course, and he's put about 10 car lengths over Zach Mitchell in the second place runner. Then it's just a couple back to Russell Irwin, then about five more back to the Mac Daddy, Dale McDowell, and then about four or five more back to Brandon Overton. His lap 10 goes in the books, Wesley Allen. Back to turn one, Tyler Millwood hitting his marks in the top spot, second spot, Zach Mitchell. In that number 57 in Trinity, South Carolina, Russell Irwin sitting in third. Mac Daddy, Dale McDowell, he sits patiently in fourth. He knows how to pace himself for these big races. 
He works lap number 11 with Millwood still leading in your top five or all single file for the moment. Doesn't look like the gap has changed much. Millwood able to hold his lead. You see a lot of black being laid down in turn. They're laying a lot of rubbers down all the way around the racetrack. That just means that we're going to have a multi-groove track and good racing all throughout the night. Looks like the 55 of Benji Hicks is going to call it a night after the damage tagging the turn two all. Man, tough break for Benji Hicks in that car 55, the Longhorn. Sometimes it's best problems on a turn two. Got a car off the pace. Doug Sanders, hillbilly Doug Sanders in a Springwood, North Carolina, was off the pace in the 42. He gets back rolling again, though. We'll stay green flag. We're 13 in of 60 in the USA 100 and 2018, Tommy. He may have just been given the leader courtesy as Millwood now is reaching the tail of the field. Now this is where the second and third place guys can start making up some ground on your leader. Can Millwood pick and choose? They often say, the drivers often say, they'd rather be second as you uh, start to get to the tail of the field because where the leader goes, they go in the other way and sometimes it opens up. Got a car off the pace out of turn four coming to pit road. 42, Doug Sanders. He'll pull in under green flag conditions. We're 15 laps in, 45 to go in the USA 100 with still Tyler Millwood leading the way. We'll rejoin the race out front. It is Millwood as he begins to work the tail of the field, as we said. He's got two cars battling for position side by side. Millwood trying to find a spot to go. All the while, Zach Mitchell and Russell Irwin trying to dig their ways in. Millwood going to tippy toe it down into turn three, trying to look to the inside of turn three, to the inside of Dustin Mitchell. But again, Mitchell and Bradshaw fighting side by side for position. They're not supposed to give up. You want to show the leader courtesy, but when they're battling for position, Mitch and Zach Mitchell now to the inside of your leader. For Coming lead. side by side off of turn four is Mitchell and Millwood for the lead. Door to door. Mitchell, uh, Millwood will hold off Mitchell, but they're in traffic. Who can pick and choose it better, Wesley Allen? Picking off lap cars one by one, but in the process, he's got now Mitchell in his midst. He'll pick off Mitchell, and Millwood will go to the outside. The other Mitchell, Zach Mitchell to the inside. Well, Millwood went up the track, and we got a new leader. It's uh, Kid Quick, Zach Mitchell to the lead in turn one. Millwood slid a little high in three, trying to work the traffic. That allowed Irwin with the Irwin is now in the second spot. Now Zach Mitchell, he's going to pick his Jesus way through. Again, the driver started out with the Ultimate Series when he was 14 years old, behind the wheel of a super late model. Oh, and mind you, Tommy, he also started with Fast Track also. At 12 years old. At 12 years old, you're exactly right, running Fast Track. Through three and four now, Mitchell working to the very bottom of the speedway. He works to the inside of Bradshaw. Next car in front of him will be Rambo Dennis Franklin. This could be Mitchell, Irwin, Millwood. I mean, this is why we said this is an opportunity for a regional guy to become a super guy, Tommy, because this is the one of the prestigious races in motorsports. When you win the, the USA 100, it's like winning the Dream 100 or the World 100 or the, the Dirt Track World Championship. It is a prestigious crown jewel. And for regional stars to have an opportunity to win this event, phenomenal, because national guys have won it before. And right as you say that, Millwood gathers right back to the rear deck of Zach Mitchell for the uh, leader. Mitchell going to work the top of one and two. Cuts off the nose of Millwood and opens up about a three-car race a lead down the back straightaway. This, I believe, is, this is a new Longhorn chassis for Zach Mitchell. I believe it's his third race on it. And he's picked up two wins. Can he make it three in a row with a brand new Longhorn and a brand new Clements under the hood as well? 25 laps coming up on the scoreboard this time by. Out in front, it is Zach Mitchell from Entry, South Carolina. And Tommy, let's talk about Zach Mitchell real quickly. He has gone through trouble in turn four. That's Irwin leading sideways. He'll save it, but he'll go outside the top five. Another car off the pace of the back straightaway, Tommy Tanner. Coming to pit road. Can't see the number yet. Still can't, but we're going to go back to the speedway because we got a battle for the wow. lead as we come up for Millwood and Mitchell touch as they were both battling for the very bottom of the race tra track. Zach Mitchell out front, he is dedicated to the top side and may have slipped. 
Zach Mitchell slips at the top of one and two. Millwood back to the lead. Millwood will take it back like candy from a baby. And here comes the Mac Daddy, a national superstar, Dale McDowell. In the sweet Bloomquist chassis, 17M to the inside. He's looking for Mitchell for second spot. He's there on the inside in the two, Tommy. But what a run, Matt. Wow. Zach Mitchell gets off a of turn two. Rockets back into front of Dale McDowell, and he'll keep her locked down on the inside through three and four. Tommy Caution on the speedway. Got one. Turn two. It's Walker, dog. Walker Arthur, but in pointing the wrong direction. Joey Coulter. Wesley. Bring them back to green as Tyler Millwood will lead them through three and four. Oh, they're about to go to the VP race fuels, making power point out of turn four. Green flag going back in the air. We are back underway. Let's see how things develop on the restart. Whole shot's going to go to Millwood. Mitchell on the inside. Here comes the back daddy, Dale McDowell. He'll power to the outside of the racetrack. He'll carry Mitchell with him. And they go into turn three. Tyler Bears in the top five with Big Sexy Overton. And they all get fishtailed out of four. Overton and Tyler Bear side by side. Now they single file it back up. Three wide as they go into one. Wow. Kenny Moreland and Joey Coulter and Russell Irwin were three wide as they went into one. Holy cow. You're getting tongue tied just by seeing all this chaos up in the tower. And there is action all over the speedway for us to catch. But wow, Tyler Millwood has opened up about a Look at this, in the back, in the back. Three and four wide, Tommy. Oh my. This is in the back, in the rear. Three wide, and they're racing for a position. And we're about to come to halfway. 30 Just down and halfway. 30 to go, Tommy. Millwood, your leader at the halfway point, followed by the back daddy, Dale McDowell. It's about 10 car lengths back to Zach Mitchell in the 57, and just a couple back to Tyler Bear. Then it will be Brandon Overton in the fifth position and he will be trailed by Joey Coulter in the two, and Kyle Hardy has made his way up to the seventh position. Rambo gouging with another native of Donald Bradshaw back into the back of the pack. I'm watching this racing in the back while we're seeing the field, the top 10. They've all got single file. You've got furious racing. Well, Walker oh, Arthur around wow. trouble on the back straightaway. Back Walker, straightaway. Walker Arthur looped it on the back straightaway, not sure if there was contact but I guess there was. I'm guessing. I'm guessing something happened. Hooked up with Brian Ligon, a former competitor, rival of his in crate racing, and now look where they're at in fifth. Millwood, gases are back up. We're back to the green flag racing. Mitchell with a good start that time from the outside. And now wow. Dale McDowell slides high. Tyler Barrow work on the Brandon Overton right on the deck of, Ty of Dale McDowell. Ah, uh, Overton works to the outside. Two, Tommy. He's roaring to the outside. It looks like Kenny Moreland's making the outside work for him in 24 as well. Three wide down the front stretch. Michael Page got bumped down to the inside. Wow, three wide in two rows back. Moreland sideways bounces the back end off the wall. Keeps her gassed up down the back straightaway. All the while back out front, Millwood's opened up about a 10 car advantage over Zach Mitchell in the 57. Then it's Tyler Bear in the 43 in the third spot. In the back, Danny Dale McDowell and Brandon Overton's your top five. Kyle Hardy is up to six. The three V of Kyle Hardy and Russell Irwin right behind him. Ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing a show. We are now less than 25 laps to go. In the 42nd run into the USA 100, there's contact in the front straightaway. That shot, Johnny Pursley, Rambo Dennis Franklin, Donald Bradshaw. I Once hate again. to say it's in the back of the pack, but that's where the racing is, Tommy. They're side by side. Rambo gets gassed up, and he tries to get away from him. I mean, I got nothing but love for the guys in the top 10, but look at the racing in the back. They're this racing like no tomorrow. Tyler Bear makes a big move underneath. Tyler Bear to the second spot underneath Zach Mitchell. Mitchell slid just a touch high. Now Tyler Bear, can he race down the back straightaway and reel in the 31 of Millwood? Tyler Millwood still out in front. 22 laps to go. Tyler Bear, a former fast track Southeast Touring Champion. He's won the Fast Track Triple Crown before. He's won the Fast Track East Coast Rumble before. He moved up to Super Late Model Racing this year, Tommy.
He had a dismal race in the King of the Commonwealth, but to no trouble, turn two! Dale Hollage is off the pace in the zero car! Top of turn two, he's under power, so we will suspect a flat right rear, but we will see as it comes. Making it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, back for the resumption of the USA 100. Green flag back in the air. They'll rock it into turn one. Zach Mitchell and Tyler Bear side by side. Bear will take over that second spot. Mitchell to third. Overton up to the fourth position. Then it's McDowell. Here we go down. We're coming back off of turn four. Off of turn four. Back to 66. Uh, Matt Cosner on the pit road. They are single file at the very bottom of one and two this time through. But again, at the tail of the pack, they are two and three wide. Back across the line, they'll exit off a of turn four. Another lap on the board. 41, now make it 19 laps to go. Car slung like a rag doll. Three wide contact. Kyle Lear gets into Moreland. They go to the front straightaway back to turn one. My goodness, we got racing in the backpack. Where are you all watching this thing from? Let us know in the chat box where you're tuning in and seeing the excitement of the USA 100. Tommy, it is exciting. Here they come again, three and four wide in the rear. Three wide, Kenny Moreland, Johnny Persley, Rambo, Jeff Smith, Justin Williams, they are beating and banging back there. Whoa, Jeff Smith gets wow. turned around. The 24 car, let's see, the 94. The 94. 94, 94, Jason Miller turns Jeff Smith. He got into him. Ross Bell's, Ross Bell's he, he, he ran his Lawrence line. a couple weeks ago. Here we go, getting ready to go green. And then two national stars in Overton and McDowell. Green flag. Oh, Tyler Bear shuts the door on Mitchell. Mitchell going to cross over to go to the inside. He may help him out. Nope. They race him clean side by side. Look through that middle of the pack though, two and three wide. Kyle Hardy tags the outside wall down the back stretch. He'll keep her gassed up. He's got Michael Page right behind Trouble! him. Trouble! Look out! Two, three cars involved. Johnny Persley slides in. That's Justin it. Williams up against the outside wall. He collected Johnny Persley line. He won an ultimate race at County Line, a 5,000 win race, if I remember correct. I believe you're right, Wesley. The uh, night before the USA 100. That's back. right. Here we go. Green flag will fly back again. Here we go. Millwood. He we'll won that night and blew the engine here. Blew the engine leading. Leading, leading. leading the, the engine, race. Leading. You're exactly right. Man, we got good memories. The day our memories go as announcers, we're in trouble. Millwood leads him in turn three, Tommy. Battle for third, heating up. Brandon Owen will dig down to the inside. Also, he's going to bring Dale McDowell with him. Mitchell will slide back to fifth. But he's going to fight back on the outside. Maybe Overton, maybe uh, McDowell saving some tires. Maybe those years of experience on the national tour. Not so much years with uh, Overton. Problems back straight away. Issues for Jason Covert. The Delaware native with an issue. He goes up the top of the racetrack in turn three. Will we see a caution? Not yet. Not yet. Covert up to the top of the cushion in the tater patch. And the yellow will have to come out. And we got cars wrecking in turn two as well, Tommy. Persley and 45 got together. Michael Page has made his way up into the top ten. Here we go, green flag out. Millwood got an early jump that time. Tyler Barrett going to follow him through. Brandon over to third. Side-by-side -side battle for the fifth spot between Irwin and Mitchell. 15. Three wide into turn three for the sixth spot. Wow, and 15 laps to go here in the USA 100 top end. Millwood setting his side. Holy cow, did you see that move cross spells just yes, from sir. the outside? And Holy down to the smokes. inside. What's the word that my buddies James Essex and Dustin Jarrett used at Eldora last week? More slide jobs than at a, at a, uh, a Crystals or a, well, a Crystals down here, a White Castle. We've know. seen a lot of slide jobs here tonight. And we got a problem with the back straightaway. A car is off the pace. Is that Michael Page? That is Michael Page. Michael Page, after making his way up into the top eight, I believe, Page. He jinxed him totally. Bully. I'm sorry. Sorry, Michael. He, he may, right he may have a left rear down, as a matter of fact, and just going to call it quits. That's right. I believe he does. Driving to Douglasville, Georgia, with a left rear tire down. Another car off the pace. That's Kyle Lear, the 151. He's got a problem. He'll go behind the wall. We are working now 12, make it now 11 laps to go. 
Tyler Millwood out in front in the 31. Leads the way, 11 to go back to turn one in the USA 100. Has he got the tires left? He's got open track ahead of him, but does he have enough rubber underneath him? Followed by Tyler Bear, but you know Brandon Overton and Dale McDowell are back there. What does that do to your psyche? Do you, do you change your line? Smart Get Money says no, you just keep doing what you're doing because it's worked pretty daggone good so far. 10 laps to go. Ladies and gentlemen, settling in for the home stretch now. Millwood, Tyler Bear, Brandon Overton, Dale McDowell, Russell Irwin, your top five. Is anybody gonna make a move? Or is it all Tyler Millwood to make history and win the biggest super late model race of his career and $20,000 plus Tommy Tedder, the Golden Eagle, the beautiful Golden Eagle trophy. And it could change our points lead too because I believe he's just nine points behind, if even that, behind our leader Kyle Hardy. It'll certainly tighten it up because Hardy running currently in the one, two, three, four, five, six, six position. So it'll draw it back in with just a couple points difference between the top two. Across the line, seven laps to go now. Seven laps remaining. Out in front, car number 31, Tyler Millwood. Leading the way, Tommy Tedder, you got cars dropping off like flies on the attrition rate as looks like Johnny Persley and Corny Kenny Moreland both going behind the wall. They're going to pull them pet side. And five to go at the line for Tyler Millwood. Millwood will lead them back. He's got about half a straightaway advantage over Tyler Bear as they work it through one and two. Then it's just a couple back to Brandon Overton in the four car and a couple more back to Dale McDowell. The 22 of Russell Irwin sits right at the end of the top five. Then it's Zach Mitchell, the 57. Ross Bell's the 79. The three of Kyle Hardy in the eighth position and Joey Coulter in the two car in the ninth spot. Then it's the 41. Good run for Andy Anderson running 10th tonight. Across the line it will be now three laps to go when they come to the stripe. Tyler Millwood flashes under the flag stand. He's in turn one. Rambo with a problem in front of your lane right tire, in turn two. Tire, 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 tire down on the Schwartz chassis of Rambo Dennis Franklin. And could we see a late race caution? Caution is, on Tommy. the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Three words, Tommy Tanner. This. To build the weight back up on the car. They have a minimum weight they have to be. Most of these cars have to be 2,350 pounds. That's right. And with all the uh, burn off and everything, they want to make sure they've got you everything. You can be over, the but you can't be light. Green flag back in there. Tyler Bear will lead them back to turn one. He got a good jump over Brandon Overton and Dale McDowell. Tyler Bear, the 43 car, will lead them off of two with about a five car lead advantage. Can Overton or McDowell reel it in? They'll come to the line this time by. Two laps to go. The Bullhorns are up from your flagman. It is your leader. Out in front, Tyler Bear trying to win the biggest race of his career. The man that's trying to upstart his career again. Big sexy Brandon Overton sits in the number two spot. And the national superstar Dale McDowell in third. One lap to go in the 42nd run into the USA 100. Tommy Tedder bring him to the finish. Tyler Bear will lead the field off of turn two. He's got about a 10 car length advantage over Brandon Overton as he worked back to turn three for the USA 100 here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Tyler Bear will pick up the USA 100 followed by Brandon Overton and Dale McDowell. Fourth will go to Russell Irwin. The fifth spot will go to Zach Mitchell. Fans, we're gonna go talk to a happy this young man. He's going bonkers, Tommy Tatter. Speedway car cams. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos out here for Ginger Motor Speedway. Hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure and like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Videography at its best. It's Speedway car cams or nothing.